our first steps on the PCT. We're gonna do a couple miles. Oh my God, there's already snow. Guys. Uh. So this morning when I woke up and I thought that it was raining, it was really snowing. Um, and my tent soaked, <laughs> which kind of stinks. But uh, yeah, I mean, it stopped snowing now. I have all of my cold weather stuff on. And I honestly thought that I was gonna regret having my cold weather gear because it's so heavy. But now I'm like, hallelujah, because I was cold last night and I had a 10 degree bag. I had my sleep sack and I had on my cold weather um, base layer and my fleece and a hat. And I shoved all my clothes inside my little sleep sack with me to make like a more air barrier thing so it'd be warmer. Yeah, but this is a little more intense than I thought it was gonna be. It's absolutely stunning though. Gonna have to use my micro spikes today. Eek. This is my friend Hade, trail name to be determined. We are making our way across this very scary, very steeply sloped, sloped, steeply sloped snowfield. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But we just put our micro spikes on and we're kind of sticking together for this part because, I mean, it's scary for real. Nobody wants to go sliding down the mountain today. Not today. We've been trying to find our way back to the trail for like 20 minutes. It's just all snowed in, man. It's I'm waiting cool. on my friend who is way far up that way. It was scary. Um, you cannot see the trail at all. We were sort of looking for the footprints of uh, our friend Wildlife, who's ahead of us, and also trying to use gut hooks to look. But gut hooks was sort of jumping around um, on both of our phones, so it was hard to tell if we were on the trail. And the way that we were going was like up and over the mountain, and that's not how we were supposed to be going. So we backtracked a little bit, got back on gut hooks, and then just kind of followed it. It was, it was scary because it was a steep slope but it's cool. She's taking a different path than I took, I think. But I was slip sliding all the way down and I had my crampons on. I mean, my micro spikes. I have my micro spikes on. Maybe crampons would have been a good idea. Uh, yeah. Ooh, snack time. Well, this is a new part of the trail. Obviously a fire. Looks cool. I keep expecting to see like Sasquatch or something. It's so wild out here. Um, passed another hiker who said that uh, he hiked up to Rock Pass and that it was just like absolutely ridiculous. He was like, I mean, if you're a mountaineer, maybe you can do it. And I was like, what? I'm from Florida. I don't know. So I think I might still just hike as far as I can. And... Okay, second morning on trail. Mm, I slept so good last night. I still have a hard time falling asleep when it's still light out, but <clears throat> um, I slept like a baby once I did fall asleep. And I'm like right by this little creek. Mm. And it's been just flowing all night, which is soothing, but now I really have to pee and I don't want to get out of here because Although it's not raining and it's not snowing, it's still really chilly out there. And they're keeping these really strong gusts. So this is Rock Pass. Snowy. Ooh, I love when all the clouds come through like that. First time we're in Washington. It's finally getting warmer. Well, it's warm today. And just the sunlight is really brings up the morale, you know? We decided 
when we got to Rock Pass. Well, I decided that for myself, I just didn't feel like I had the skill level to go through snow like that on such a, a steep slope. I mean, it just looked like you're going like straight down. And maybe there are other ways around it. Maybe we could have slid down this one that was a little less steep. But I really felt like my mom would have been mad at me if I did that. And no, seriously, I was just, I was nervous about it. So we made it till 14.5 miles to the border, I think. And then I was discussing with wildlife some ways to come back and tag the border later. So I'm keeping that in mind. Just trying to be smart and keep myself safe and enjoy my hike. The sun is shining and the snow is melting. You and wildlife. <laughs> 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 the tempting to stretch. You're so flexible. <laughs> this is our first good break. Yes. I slept on a sleigh last night. It was fine because I wedged my pack underneath the side of my sleeping, uh, my sleep pad that was on the downhill. And I shoved some clothes and some other stuff. But then I kept dreaming that my tent was sliding down the hill. So I'd panic and wake up like... <laughs> Positive side. One of the times I woke up, it was really bright. So I undid my tent. Um fly. I looked out and it was a full moon and it was right over this really snowy mountain. So the snow was like glowing white and there were just like little thin wispy clouds going in front of the moon. It was really pretty. So I didn't sleep great but I got a really pretty view. <laughs> You can see the trail going all the way up there. Does it go on the other side of the mountain? I wonder if it like, yeah, it goes. I think it must go over. Mm -hmm. so we don't stay on the came from all the way over there where that fire tower is. Around all those little mountains. Maybe it's a groundhog. Probably a groundhog. Or a marmot or something. A groundhog is a type of marmot. Oh, really? Hey, buddy. So stoic. <laughs> Wildlife says this is bear poop. This is probably the fourth one we've seen today. And we've seen the most animals. We saw some lizards. Killing it. That was beautiful. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Shore is rotten. <laughs> oh. We just walked through this really cool forest. There's a bunch of bear poop. There's the trail. Holy crap, it's all amazing. The way over there. It's nuts how you can see it all here. Yeah. I don't remember ever being able to see it. Oh, look at all the switchbacks. I slept on a slant again. <clears throat> it wasn't that bad. But my tent really did slide last night. It also appears that there's frost all over the outside of my tent. Maybe that's why it was so slip slidey. Yeah, it just slid a little bit. It was fine. 
It's really cold though. Um, and there's ice all over my camp shoes that were in my vestibule because the tent slid a little bit and then they were outside of the vestibule. So they're covered in ice. My hands are freezing. I think I'm gonna overuse the word stunning a lot on this trip. It's oh, beautiful. And the sun feels magical. Hi. Looks like I need to go up that snowy thing to that snowy part all the way up there to the switchback. Hmm, it's gonna be slippery. I might put on my micro spikes. Uh, I was just um, standing at the bottom of that slope near some rocks, looking up, trying to figure out like, oh, how do I get to that next switchback? So it's all covered in snow, you know? I was looking at my map, looking up the slope, and then wham! My whole body post hold like up to my butt in the snow. Luckily, I had my poles in my hand and one of them was kind of sideways, so I just pushed myself up, but it was cold and it scared me. But then I just took up, took off up the slope, tried to stay real light. I used my poles like a water bug kind of to like spread out my weight. Yeah, that was serious. I slid down the mountain a bit earlier. I scraped my finger, cutting it. And then I came around another corner and there was wildlife waiting for me because there was this really long snowy traverse. And I'm really glad she waited because I was terrified. <laughs> We're okay though, Ma.